Uh, married, <gasps> recently got married this last year. So He's, he just got married last year? Year. Who said Walmart Eminem? That's an awfully hot coffee pot. This video is an interrogation of a sheriff's deputy that gets caught talking to 12 to 14 year old girls and they sit him down to have a little talk. This case came to light April 20th, 2022, when the San Diego County Crime Stoppers received tips about a man who had engaged with a juvenile, according to the police. The case involved four victims between the ages of 12 and 14, but prosecutors contend that Fleer contacted more than 40 other minors. They say the deputies sought out young girls, offered them money in order to coax them into meeting with him, and encouraged the girls to arrange for their other young friends to meet him. Literal Jeffrey Epstein. Literal. Literal. Look at that facial expression. Look at when he like bite, he kind of like takes his lip in and looks to the side. Oh, he knows, he knows, watch. We're actually um, doing an investigation on some allegations that we have to obviously look into. You're a law enforcement yeah. officer, so you know that we look into everything um, equally. I want to make sure though, before we get started, that you're aware um, that this is a voluntary interview. And so um, I just want to make sure that you're aware of all of those yeah. things. And so I'm yeah, going to just have you. Deputy. This is one of those forms that they give everybody, so it doesn't really fit. So if I just happen to cross out as I'm going along. Okay. Sorry about that, Sam. So. Um, so it says, thank you for coming voluntarily um, to, and then we'll go ahead and just put the admin office. He's being so nice. Um, he, or he knows. He has to know. Oh, and of course, he you know about body. Yeah. So yeah, this is my body worn. Of course, it audio and video records everything. And there's also an audio recorder here just in case. Okay. Um, office this is in San Diego. San Central Diego Sheriff's Diego. Office? Oh my God, uh, dude, to me, this body posture, this is just the acceptance. Let's see how he tries to fight this. Chat, what do you think his tactic is gonna be? I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. We gotta definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. You're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. I'll have you go ahead and write it in. And you can initial or say yes. All right, so just so, just for record's sake, I'm going to go ahead and read what you did initial. Um, so you understand that you're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Um, you understand that you're free to leave at any time. There will not be mm -hmm. any locked doors keeping you from leaving. As you notice, that one doesn't have a, a lock behind you. Yeah. Um, He's like, I know how this works. He's like, I know the spiel. Come on. Um, and you can choose to leave or let us know, and we will assist you with the exit. Although you're probably going to be the one assisting me because I don't know my way around here. Okay. Um, so you understand, like, if you, as far as like leaving, you have access points and you know how to leave or yeah. where to go. Chat, we've seen so many interrogations at this point. Y'all can tell when the the investigators being fake nice, right? Now it's so obvious. Okay, and just sign right here, and the door's right over there. You know, there's no lock on it. By the way, I don't know my way around. So, you might have to show me. Anyways, so about those girls. <laughs> That's how this right. always goes, dude. They, um, they, so, they I know nice that I... Beginning. Can you tell me a little bit about your upbringing? Yeah, so... Um, I kind of want to skip ahead, uh, but I also just want to see how this... Uh, play sports. This, this train wreck goes. <laughs> went to Grossmont College for a little bit, played baseball there. Um, and I got a job here. Worked at Dick's Sporting Goods before this. Um, so this is my second He's job. He's a simple man. So I work in sports, for police duty, Dick sports, sporting goods. Yeah. I'm just going to say Dick's skate shop. I don't so know baseball seems pretty important to you. Married? Have any kids? Oh yeah. Uh, married. Recently got married this last year. So He's, he just got married last year? Kid on the way in August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boy, girl. Boy. Very nice. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, just, like, my God. Oh, no, I said looking forward to Oh, looking forward. Yeah, I thought you said unfortunately. I'm no, like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Bro, if I found out that my dad was cheating on my mom, exploiting children with money, oh, <laughs> you think you think parents can be disappointed in you? No, we can be disappointed in them. Immediately cut off, shamed for life. Oh, my God. You would have so much power. Dad is a piece of shit. No, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, that's cool. Um, and your wife, how long have you known her? Uh, oh actually, preschool. Oh um, preschool? Yeah, we met in preschool. Went separate ways. Um, met her back in high school. Things like I was trying to date her, but she was playing, playing it hard to get again. Yeah. Um, then college came around, tried again, and actually ran into he's her. He's smiling and, and like thinking of her fondly, like he's not being disgusting yeah, behind his entire yeah. marriage. I'm married, Smart. got a family, got a house. It's nice, you don't hear stories that go that far back. How about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Oh, uh, she's Facebook inching in. And Instagram. Um, 
had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. We got caught in the academy with, with her and stuff, with some stuff. But, what? Huh. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Or? What? Um, I mean, it was with another recruit in the academy, but... What? Okay. So you're um, communicating with another recruit? I was. Back in, I stopped. Everything got cut off. Um, got rid of... I mean, I didn't delete... Notice how he said everything got cut off, like there was another party in charge of him no longer talking to that person, and if it was up to him, it's not I cut everything off, it's everything got cut off. He probably would still be talking to them. The Snapchat, I just got deleted that, so... Okay. I haven't used it for like, I don't know, two, a year and a half now. Okay. Uh, so on Facebook, just because I like to jot down everybody's social they, media... He still has Snapchat. Can, um, what's your Facebook login? So like he still had Snapchat on his phone. Uh... And he was using it's it today. Like Flair. It's your name? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Why wouldn't you want me to wrap my arms around you then? Horny face, ha ha ha, JK. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know what I've started doing when people do this shit? When they say something that they definitely mean and then, <laughs> just kidding. No, it was a joke. You know what I say to them? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was a joke. That wasn't a joke. That's what you really feel. No, I don't know what you're talking about. That was a joke. Well, that was one of your worst jokes that was a horrible joke so the one that you had there and has that said that account since been deleted or just deactivated that one, the... just, just delete the app i think it's i think it's still there okay dude this is also so creepy because he used his full name when he was talking to these younger girls he wasn't trying to hide anything no shame right well it's probably because he was using his status as an officer to also get attention or respect from them when you are a even if you're a 13 or 14 year old girl, when you're kind of like lost and misplaced and an older guy that has a good job is attracted to you, you have this image in your head of like, oh, well he must like me because I'm mature. Oh, he's, he's an upstanding person because he's a police officer. So he's able to take advantage of these girls with his job as well by making them think that he's an upstanding person and they're just special. It's so messed up. Like he's using his name so he must be telling them what his job is as well. I don't know, do you have any questions for me before we kind of... I will ask what this is about. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, uh, we did receive um, a picture um, that um, you know when we looked into it, it looks similar to you. So I don't know yeah. if you can take a look at the picture and just tell me if you <laughs> so this picture right here. Yeah, that's definitely me. I'm the gross one. Okay, so um, this picture right here. How old were you when it was taken? Was he pretending to be Have younger? you ever used this picture on any social media site? Um, oh. I think it was Snapchat back in the day, yeah. Okay. Alright. Have you ever shared this picture with anybody on Snapchat? Um, yeah, probably my wife, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously I <laughs> talked to other girls back in the day, too. Oh, you send in old pictures of yourself to your wife through Snapchat? Is that the story? We sticking to that one? Alright, deputy. Right. Um, this photo came up in connection with some allegations, um, about you communicating with a younger female on Snapchat. Okay. Have you ever okay. communicated with any females that uh, we we've already recognized that yes you have with yeah, your wife, recruit so. from the from the um He said yeah, that, my wife. Uh, no. The past. Is there anyone else you've communicated with on Snapchat? I mean, back then? No, just close friends and coworkers and stuff like that. Okay. Anyone recently? Well, those Snapchat messages were from today. Give it up, deputy. Is there any reason why your phone number and email might be linked to a different Snapchat account? No, no. I never had a number. Just the Jalen Okay. You work every seven days on and seven days off. What is your wife's schedule? Uh, she's every Friday, Saturday off. Uh, day shift. So typical nine to nine to five. Can I ask, is this something I might, I should have lawyers on? So right now, I, and I'll go over the beginning okay. with you, Talk you know, about we're it. investigating Talk allegations about it. that okay. were made that you were communicating with a younger female on Snapchat and potentially some material might have been shared. Okay. Um, some photos, some oh. images, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we, of course, want to be able to hear what happened from your side, if that in fact did occur, or if it didn't occur, we want to always Everyone that I talked to, I mean, it was about my age. I remember. About oh. my age? So who have you talked to? My wife. Um, I, mean, this I love how he keeps slipping up. Like he keeps saying, yeah, my wife. Yeah, I sent that picture to my wife. Yeah, my wife and I have Snapchat. <laughs> and then he goes, well, everyone I've talked to, like, hey, 
Choose one. When I had, I had Tinder, so I did oh, meet people yeah, on Tinder and stuff. Tinder. Everyone should have been older than that to know because Tinder's 18 and up. Okay. He's like, um, it's not my problem. Did you ever they should be. meet up with anyone that you met on Tinder? On Tinder? My ex-girlfriend, yeah. And okay. we dated for like three years. So, um, of course, we've spoken to, okay. you know, obviously, the other parties involved and kind of gotten some of the information. Um, and so the reason why this particular photo was kind of brought up is because this photo was sent uh, to this female, which is why I wonder if this photo would be in anyone else's hands. I mean, for someone being younger, no, it wasn't anyone I sent younger. Um, <laughs> He ready so to deny that real quick. In the last three weeks. 40 girls, and you really think that you're going to talk your way and deny your way out of this one? <laughs> Let's see the tape. sent this photo. No, definitely not. Wasn't not to anyone definitely in the not. last wasn't three me. weeks. Okay. And you've only shared it with a select few people. Yeah. It was, I mean, that was a long time ago, so. Okay. So I want to make sure to get all the people you have shared it with just to make sure they wouldn't try to send it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... I know there's like screenshots and stuff. I don't remember that one being screenshotted on Snapchat. So, um, you don't know who I might be able to connect with this photo as far as on that one? No, that was a long time ago. You said you've only shared it a couple Someone said long time ago yeah, equals I mean, yesterday. Back, just, it's just a basic photo and I don't want to save that one or anything like okay. that. So, it was either your wife or whoever the other person you might have shared it with that might have shared the photo again? My question I is. I doubt my wife would do that. Yeah been together and stuff for so long. Well, so you dated this girl for three years, and when you were 20, that's 23, you kindled your relationship with your wife about three years ago? Like, literally, like, a, yeah, it was about a month apart from my ex. The other one. So you've wife. been with her for three years, yeah. so. You like the long-term relationships. I've always been in the long term, Three yeah. to three. Who said Walmart Eminem? I can't look at this video anymore without seeing it. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Walmart Marshall right. Mathers. Um, <laughs> so, you know, this, like I said, this photo was um, sent to this person, so they were in possession of it, and we can't find any connection or reason why this photo would end up with this particular person if it wasn't shared by someone you may know or yourself. I agree, yeah. I, my wife would have done it, so I don't want to know why she would share that. So, I don't know, it's a long time ago. It was a bad breakup with my ex, but she wouldn't have saved something like that either. Well, I, mean, I don't know who would have. I don't, I don't know who would have done this. <laughs> I simply am unaware. I don't, I have no I mean, idea. I met girls on Tinder and stuff back in the day. And yes, yeah, some safe stuff, but I don't know who would save a picture like that. A nude, maybe, yeah, who would save. Not that long. You expect me to believe that this guy is 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 legitimately <laughs> talking to a whole right? bunch of no, overage girls? This guy looks like. Are you kidding me? Person. Oh. Don't nobody want that. There were also some conversations that were exchanged between you and this person. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't talk to anybody younger though. Not on Snapchat. Watch, well, homie's about to be like, well, my wife has been pretty mad at me lately. Maybe she's been on my phone trying to no, set me up. Should I get a divorce? All accounts are private, right? Yeah. Why do they get the Triforce and in the corner of the screen? And I know you're a law enforcement officer, so I know that you've also taken the time to make your plates confidential. I mean, back in the day, yeah, yeah. I don't think my current ones are, though. Um, I mean, obviously, I ran your plates. <laughs> so you're okay. still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's is it black or gray? It's gray. Okay. okay. And you got tinted windows on it still? Yeah. And so, um, confirming the car, uh, we've confirmed the car. Know, when it comes to the photo, I really kind of just, I really want to understand why this person would be in possession with the photo. But the only one who could really help me with that is you. Yeah. Oh, so I guess the big kicker here is the person that turned over this selfie of him when he was 20 years old was the minor or one of the parents of the minor. So, why would a 14 year old girl have a selfie of you? Period. Come on. Come on, dude. Well, along with the photo came some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. Okay. Um, so is there any reason why the person would see their you, their you and share your information? It sounds like it'd be someone that knows me then, obviously. <laughs> um, I, don't know who, I don't have any 
hang this up. You're doing something wrong. I love when the perpetrator tries to like side with the officer like, well, we gotta figure this out. It must be someone that knows me. Or maybe somebody that was at the building earlier. Maybe somebody in a blue coat. <laughs> Could it be? Information. Not sure. I. Do, Not um, I. Well, um, <laughs> we know that you're a baseball player. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people know that. Yeah. So, so that information was kind of shared. Okay. Um, your work schedule. It's been five years that I've worked here. Specifically, the transition to seven days on, seven days off. Really? I haven't shared anything like that recently. So I can tell you who that would be. I wanted to bring in another officer. So let's take it back a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, You said you played football. Dude. In high school, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alerts. This looks way too good. It looks like in about 20 minutes, they might be walking him over to clean out his locker. Um, let's keep it going. What position did you play? I was a uh, defensive end. Defensive end. Um, did you have the same jersey the whole time you played? Uh, my last two years. Or, yeah, 82 and first one, first two years changed up. Um, and what year did you graduate? Uh, 2011. Okay. So, I know as an athlete, um, 2011, you know, so he's like at least 30, right? 32? I kind of use a combination of my things that I know about myself, right? Mm -hmm. So that way I wouldn't forget it. When did it. I graduate? So this particular picture did I graduate? came from yeah. an account with this username, right? J178211. Whoa, real inconspicuous. And I recognize that your jersey name in college was, or was 17. Yes, it was. And then high school was 8. That username, J1782, that is the hallmark username of my wife doesn't know about this account. Look, I bro, I just found out about this the other day. The people got, People got their dirty accounts that they'd be scrolling on. My ex had one of those. I didn't know about it. Didn't find out till later. One seven eight two eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I recognize that your jersey name in college was or was seventeen. Yes, it was. And then high school was, was eighty two, and it was eleven. In twenty eleven. I did it in twenty eleven. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it goes by J, and it is a Snapchat account that has some links to you. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Jay, I'll be very honest. I just, I want to know the truth. Yeah, no, I never even heard of that account. Okay. Never heard of this. This is the type of dude that hits the share have button on Pornhub. I always wonder who uses that. Share to Facebook? What? Have you ever shared any images of your penis with anyone? Yeah. Okay. And how many times would you say you've done that? A lot. <laughs> Can you a lot. Kind of explain that a little bit more to me? I mean... My wife, my ex-girlfriend, back in the day, Tinder and stuff, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know how Tinder is. Um, high school. He said I mean, a lot. Did. did you ever share any videos of you having sex with anyone? <gasps> with anyone? No. I've always had personal videos of me and my wife. That was it. Okay. And my ex actually had one, but... What does your ex look like? She's blind. She's what? Blind. What if he was like um, secretly so recording them? Oh my god, he's just a mega creep. No, he's a creep. No. He's a textbook creep. Yeah. Can you, I know this is kind of personal, so let me know if you get uncomfortable at all. Can you tell me what some of those images look like? <laughs> um, video I had. Uh, I used toys. It's awkward, but yeah, I used toys on my wife and stuff. Okay, can you explain the toys? She's your wife, right? Yeah. I mean, it's your wife. It's intimate. We totally get this. Yeah. Dude, I really hope that he was not recording. I mean, maybe it's, but hold on. Let's see where this goes. Jesus Christ. You and your wife haven't been in that house too long, right? When did you guys move in? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay. And you guys, how many bedrooms are in the house? Four. Four. Do you guys live with anyone else? Um, do you guys have a master bedroom? We do, yeah. Alright. Um, Bro, can you tell me about your master bedroom? laughing to concern. So, I mean, just a big white room, big king bed. I mean, there's nothing really special to it. Okay. Um, 
just because it gives me kind of some insight of like yeah. you know what your what yeah. your home life is like. Um, do you guys you guys still sleep in the same room? That's a good marriage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I say that because people have been married a long time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we come into contact with a lot of them. Um, do you guys have a TV? Mm -hmm. I wonder if his wife even okay, knows about these allegations. Uh, just, uh, Samsung, Samsung TV. Okay. Um, is it like a large room that has like one of those double door entries? Because I know some of those houses have them. No. No, it's just single door. Guys, it's what she's doing door. is she's confirming details um, right now so he can't take it back later. Any dressers? Or? Um, like, like dress. she's confirming details when he's not under too much pressure. Like, the minor confrontation has already happened, but there's going to be a more direct confrontation here in a minute. They so might even bring in another officer and good cop, bad cop him. Just the dresser to me? But he would know yeah, that tactic. Like a, um, tannish brown, I guess. Okay. Is it newer? Somewhat, yeah. Because you never know, like, sometimes when people move in, they have, like, that chic-style look or, like, mm -hmm. the modern look. Um, so it just helps me to get an idea of what home life is like. Mm -hmm. um, it must be hard for you guys, though, because your schedules are complete opposite. Um, yeah, I mean, we still see each other at the end of the day. Here, so so um, going back, and I'll give you a little bit more information, and then I'll let you chat for a little bit. I don't like chatting a lot, so there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah, you tell us your side, buddy. So, um, when it comes to the Crime Stopper that we're investigating and the Snapchat account, um, and of course your phone number and everything in connection with it, and some of the combinations of numbers and everything there, you can understand why, obviously, yeah, no, it's, we have a growing it's, concern. Yeah, it's weird. Um, and of course, your picture is attached to it, yeah. right? Um, which okay. is even more like either someone's. Can I ask what you said you got new ones too? They're were images that were shared, yes, that, can um... I ask them, I'm sure you got them, can I ask to see what they are? You want to see the picture? Yeah, so I can get an idea of... I did not... Okay, I understand. ...print yeah. out those I pictures. I would talk to a lawyer, because this is kind of... This is... I'm uncomfortable with this, this is weird, so... Of course, like, me. um... You definitely have the ability to do that, and of course, uh -huh. this is completely voluntary. Right, um, right. And so, um, I just don't want to get caught up on something. I, work I don't want to, want to get caught up in something I didn't do. Yeah. So um, you can yes, 100% elect not to speak with us. You are not under arrest at this time. Yeah, I understand. Um, obviously, given the fact that we're here and the fact that we're speaking to you, I know that your bosses are going to want to speak no with you afterwards. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, we'll oh, go ahead and allow them to So she, she said that she's coming in from this, like, family detective unit. So they aren't directly working with the cops, but the cops afterwards are going to be like, they're going to have to talk. They're going to have to talk. Okay, yeah, so they're not really in cahoots um, yet. Obviously, since you don't want to talk to us anymore, my partner here. I knew people. I just wanted to clarify, I have a couple of questions, but yeah, you don't want to answer, or can I ask you the questions, sir? Because you can choose to answer or not answer. So if I ask you a question and you're like, I don't want to answer that, yeah, you can no, tell me that. Just so that we understand. <laughs> oh, this is the bad cop. This questions. is the bad cop. Um, one of my questions was, I think I missed it, but when was the last time that you had Snapchat? Because um, I know you said you deleted it, but I didn't hear when you deleted it. Oh, my God. I never, I just deleted the app. This I is bad cop, guys. So if you're not familiar with the good cop, bad cop strategy, I know a lot of you guys are. You're like, Bose, we already know. Think of the children. Okay. So <laughs> it's exactly what you just saw. Good cop comes in, super nice, asks a whole lot of questions, acts like you have a chance. And then afterwards, the bad cop steps in and it's not so nice. They ask harder questions. They push even harder, right? And the hope is basically that the perpetrator or the suspect then starts to gravitate more towards good cop and trust them with more information because bad cop is scary. So here she is. Yeah. When did you go to the academy? It's like a little over a year ago. A year, a year ago, yeah. so in 2019? Yeah, right at the beginning of 2019, January. Okay, and then um, what years did you go to college at Grossmont? Uh, 2011 to about 2013, okay. And eight, then, eight. Jesus I just Christ. want to make sure that we all understand each other. When my partner says um, a younger female, yeah. you understand that we mean someone under the age of 18? Yeah, that's obviously why you're here. You, you understand. understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister, yeah. She's 19 right now. 20, oh. 20 sorry. Oh, okay. And then um, my last question was, when she was asking about the house, 
and the decorations of your house. In any of your rooms in your house, do you have that new um, that new look where they have like the barn door um, outer rail type thing? It's like a country. I don't know what you would call it. I barn see it door. a lot on yeah. on like yeah. those DIY shows. Yes. Do you have those in your I house? Do have one, yeah. Okay. Um, that was the extent of my questions. Okay. So, um, do you have any other questions? I mean. Can we still ask you questions, or do you want to stop? No, I'm going to wait because I'm uncomfortable okay. with this. So. Okay. <laughs> he said I'm uncomfortable so, with this. Um, ben, you know, I want to thank you for yeah, even no, taking I'm the just, time to speak with me for this long. I can imagine that obviously um, being confronted with any level of questions can be uncomfortable, yeah. so I do appreciate that you've allowed us to speak with you even for this long. Yeah, with the next step, um, however, I'm going to go ahead and pull some documents here. Um, <laughs> for you. So there are a few steps that we're going to be taking after this. Again, you are not being detained by us or anything, but we are acting um, on behalf of the court moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I will give you a chance wow. to read through this. Um, this is a uh, search warrant <laughs> that was granted this afternoon by a judge. Okay. Um, the, the search warrant, warrant? Um, does allow us uh, to grab some DNA swabs from you. Okay. Um, as well as uh, any mobile devices that might be in your possession um, or potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Is it inside? Your are they going to take it right away? Oh, They're going to so Are they going to take his phone right away? If you want to go ahead and hand it to us, we definitely don't need to go in and grab it from you. Okay. Um, okay. But the, the search warrant does require that we take it from you. Right okay. now! Oh okay. my um, God! No time to delete. Um, no time to delete, us buddy. To have access to your vehicle. Okay. Um, is your vehicle parked here? It's parked. We got the swab check. We got the car check. We got the phone check. Over across from Caps Pizza over there. Caps Pizza? Yeah. And is it like in a parking, it's in a parking lot. lot? Okay. Um, is it like one of those paid parking lots? Yeah. Okay. So Caps Pizza. Put the note on that. Um, so the warrant does allow for us to also process your vehicle. You guys are going to take my vehicle? No. We're going to process it here. Okay. So that we actually have the someone that's going to help Basically, us. Basically, so your colleagues are going to go through your phone and process your vehicle. <laughs> Go ahead and do what needs to be done so we don't have to. Okay. Um, you know, we recognize that warrants are a part of our job, but we don't like to inconvenience people unnecessarily. Yeah. Um, so that's why we actually brought our technician with us here um, because it is obviously, we obviously want to take oh, your they brought um, their own DNA people. with the least effort possible. So mm -hmm. that's why we're using the swabs. Um, and the same goes for, of course, your phone, which you stated is on your person. We don't we don't want to put hands on if we don't have to. And yeah, no, obviously, I'll give it up. like you said, as a law enforcement officer, you're willing to comply. Um, with that being said, um, after um, I hope they don't give them any time that, to like also have they're not going to give them time to erase to right locker. are your vehicle keys inside your locker right uh, my vehicle keys are in my vehicle right now they're in your vehicle yeah okay so you psycho have a code? I have a code okay would you mind sharing that code with us I will have a lawyer say no to that well the warrant allows for us to have access to your vehicle <laughs> okay because yeah so you break it yeah truck. that's fine yeah, I'll give it up to you okay. um, I'll jot it down um okay. Did you just straight really up give us the code to your car? Would it help if you drew the keypad? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to draw the he keypad? Said, I don't know the number. I'm the same way, so. Here's good cop. She said, I'm the same way. He gave the wrong code. He trying to buy some time. <laughs> um, as you see here, um, it does state here that we have premises as well to enter your home. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Um, so we are going to attempt to do this in the quickest way possible and the way that it's obviously going to this can't be an easy process we recognize that yeah, um and we don't yes okay. um is your mom at your house right now she's not no. okay um your wife she is at home she is at home yes. okay um is it just your wife at home just my wife yeah. okay so um we're going to do this kind of systematically <laughs> um the very first thing that we will do is of course the swab and the phone yeah. Um, do you have any other USB drives, anything like that on your no. person? I know sometimes for work we carry them around yeah, with us. No, I, Bro, heart. he's out here hoping the Snapchat stuff is just going to disappear. Do conversations on Snapchat disappear or just the photo? I almost said photography, the photos. Oh, the conversation, the conversation goes away too. Oh, so his Snapchat phone might actually appear to be like clean. USB in my locker, but that's just a work locker USB. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll get that started. Okay. Um, and then after that, we know that your employers want to speak with you. Again, we are investigating allegations. So they yes. recognize that. But of course, 
you know, they have to take their action. We can't speak to that. Um, but of course, um, <laughs> they, they want the opportunity to speak with you. Yeah. Um, then of course we'll um, process the locker and then process your vehicle. Okay. Um, and They're going to suspend we'll him, right? And as quickly as we can um, okay. to alleviate any additional stresses that this already is causing. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go to your home and we hope to be in and out fairly quickly. Okay. okay. Can I... Um, and then we'll go to your home. Guess I'm staying here. I'm not going with you guys or anything like that. Um, so no, you are you are yeah. not in custody. You are not under arrest. You are not even being detained. Uh, okay. That's why you had the right to stop speaking with us at any time. But um, you there's just no kept going. Or the opportunity yeah. to leave if you choose to. Um, and like I said, thank you for speaking to us as long yeah. as you man. Know. They did. Um, so if you yo, they did good, didn't they? On the good cop, bad cop, they really did. They did a good job. Like I think they got as much out of him as they could needed. I mean, he still asked for an attorney, but they did good. Have any questions? We are here. If it's okay with you i'm just gonna grab my lab technician to start that okay that's fine. um and where is your cell phone on you it's on my person right now can we go ahead and grab that phone oh, let's take the phone do you have so you guys are gonna keep my phone yeah. yes okay. do you have <laughs> as far as your phone yes we, airplane mode? yes for sure um i don't Please want to your break code? your phone and sometimes when we access it without your code it could <laughs> know, who knows yeah, um so is it possible for us to just give us the code your um Code. One in the chat if you think he's gonna give the code. Two in the chat if you think he's not gonna give it and gonna not remember. Uh, hey, we're about to get the answer right here. It's an interactive stream. What can I say? Okay, I need your opinion. I, you know what? I'm gonna say one. I think he's gonna give the code in between loud gulps. <laughs> you guys would break my phone. No, I'm just saying they they will get into it like hard eyes, and I don't want to cause any damage to the phone if it's unnecessary. You don't have my phone. I'd rather say no to that. Oh. Uh, I'll have a lawyer for this. Is it? Oh. Well, we're still going to break so, into your phone. Yeah, I'll see if you put it in your phone. Oh, okay. He said no. Um, the twos win. Like the twos take it. Case? Yeah, it's just an extra battery. Do you want to keep that? Does it come off pretty easily? Yeah, I can take it off for you. Oh, that's right. Is that an iPhone? Yeah, it's an iPhone. What kind of iPhone is it? C10. DX. iPhone what? X10. Is it the original or the is original the one works. The, the original Bro, <laughs> see, that's bad cop coming in like, all right, let me see what type of hardware that is before we break it. <laughs> and is it um, updated with the latest iOS, whatever? Should be, yeah. Everything should be updated. Do you have any questions as far as the warrant? Because I'm going to bring my lab technician in here so she can go no, ahead and guide you through it. I don't have any questions. Okay. And I'm going to keep the body warrant camera and everything. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, do you have any other phones, like a department that shoots cell phone no. or anything like that? No. Dude, did y'all see her little smirk? <laughs> we got him, boys. Why do I want to see him get swabbed? I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. That's funny to me. I don't. You know what? I think I like it because he did something bad and we're getting justice and he's being treated like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> because he is a criminal. Don't forget that. All of us got this park right here. Dude, we used to, when I worked as an FM, a okay. former marshal, I used to have to park, we'd have to park all the way down at Grape Street. Walk in 13 blocks of work every single day to do Is that him? We just oh, they're still being nice to him. Court. He's got a hat that says America. Fuck yeah. All right. I remember that being a funny little bit in the early internet days, but you don't put it on a hat and put it on your body. Check out this investigation report. Yeah. Detentions Court Services Deputy Jalen Fleer was arrested for multiple counts related to lewd and less vicious acts with a child. He separated from the sheriff's department due to absence without leave prior to the com completion of this investigation. He left. It is alleged that Deputy Fleer paid a minor for oral sex. There is no dispute that Deputy Fleer was arrested and booked July 22nd, 2020 by the Chula Vista Police Department. He was booked for the following felony California penal code counts. Two counts of lewd and lascivious acts of the child of 14 or 15 years. Three counts of contact with the minor with the intent of sex. Harmful matters sent with the intent to seduce a minor. Six counts of that. Two counts of pandering where the other person is under the age of 16. One count of oral copulation where defendant is over 21 years of age and the victim is under 16. One count of lewd and lascivious acts with a child under the age of under the age of 14. How long did he get? Oh, he only got 12 years? Man, this was supposed to be a justice video. What a creep. 